Just got the COVID vaccine today. My arm hurts and I really didn't want to film this video, but I got it. Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to puff paint your Spider-Man No Way Home suit. Now, I've already created many videos before on how to puff paint a Spider-Man suit, but this video I'm going to be showing you guys the different techniques used to puff paint this specific suit. So let's talk about the different puff paints we're going to be using. First up is Metallic's Black Puff Paint from Tulip. The reason why we're going to be using Metallic's Black is because on the suit, the web lines aren't 100% black. They're more of a charcoal grayish black. And this puff paint just so happens to emulate that the best. And we're also going to be using this for the black sections because again, they are more of a charcoal black than they are like uh, just a solid black. For the straps, yes, we're going to be puff painting the straps. I'm going to be using matte black puff paint. Now you're probably thinking, why don't I just use matte black for all of it? Because it kind of emulates the same charcoal gray. Well, I found uh, while I was working on a commission that this paint doesn't really like to kind of soak in into the fabric we're using, as well as other paints would. Uh, but they work great for the urethane straps, so that's what we're going to use this for. We're also going to need slick red and slick white. I currently don't have any slick white right now. I thought I did, but I don't. It's currently in the mail, coming to me along with some more matte black because I'm running low on stock of that. You're also going to need two more things, applicator tips and liquid latex. The applicator tips are so that we can get nice thin lines when we're painting, and the liquid latex is to act as a stretch additive to the puff paint. Now let's get into the different techniques of how we're gonna puff paint this suit. When we're using the metallic black paint on the web lines and black sections of the suit, we're going to be using applicator tips and bottles along with liquid latex. To add liquid latex into puff paint, I add the paint into a separate bottle about halfway, then add a little bit of liquid latex, then add more puff paint on top of it, and just mix it well by either shaking it or using a drill to mix. Once the paint is mixed, you can either use it straight away or add it to a smaller bottle like I did. For the red sections I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to be using a light table to transfer the pattern onto the spandex and puff paint the lines directly on there. For the black sections, I'm literally just puff painting the pattern since it's dye sub printed onto the spandex. When painting these lines, don't try to drag the tip of the bottle on the spandex. Instead, have it in the air a little so the paint can naturally fall and smoothen out. So on the actual MCU suits, they have these urethane straps that go around the torso, arms, and legs. Me, I don't know how to mold and cast urethane, at least not yet. So what did I do? I basically came up with a way to screen print these straps and have them three dimensional. I call this method puff printing, since it's a mixture of puff painting and screen printing. To do the puff printing technique, you need some clear tape, craft foam, matte black paint, pins, a knife, cardboard slash styrofoam, and a spatula of some sort. First, you're gonna lay your fabric on the cardboard and tape it down. Then using the clear tape, you tape the parts you want to be the straps and trace it out. Take the tape off and lay it on the craft foam and cut it out. After that, pin the foam down onto the cardboard where you want the print to be. When you're ready to start printing, put as much paint in the section you cut out so that it can get into all the tight corners and so it can be flattened and smoothened out. After the paint is in there, quickly grab your spatula and run it over the paint so it flattens and smooths out. Finally, remove the foam off the board, simply just pulling it out as the pins stay in. You want to go slow, but also make sure the foam doesn't move the paint. After that, just remove the pins from the board, let it dry, and you'll have a urethane strap for your suit. Before we end this video, I want to talk about what's happening with the suit so far. So originally, I was going to 3D print the front spider using Andre Blends files, but since I am still new to 3D printing, uh, came out all weird. I tried printing it out in TPU, which is like a flexible plastic you can 3D print with. It came out all melty the first time, and the second time it came out really rough looking. Like, you can clearly see the print lines, even though I had it at super quality. It was just really tough to get right, so I just kind of copped out of that and went with a T-Jack logo. The T-Jack Far From Home Front Spider uh, is made out of urethane, so it's already flexible, but it only comes with the head and the Body, so I will end up having to paint the legs on and also the white part of the body and head but I did that before with my far from home suit so it's not that big of a deal and when it comes to sewing the actual costume I want your guys opinion on how I should do it now I could just upload one whole video on how to sew the entire suit from beginning to end however it could be a month or two 
before that is uploaded. Sewing takes a long time to do, and of course, I haven't even finished puff painting all the pieces. So an alternative to that is that I upload different sections uh, being sewn as separate videos. So an example of this would be how to sew the mask, how to sew the gloves, how to sew the shirt, how to sew the pants, and how to sew a three-way zipper. And that last video, how to sew a three-way zipper, is going to be basically how to sew the entire thing together. That video will be the last uh, sewing part, if you will. And what's great about those videos is they can be uploaded a week or two apart and you guys will get more content and I can actually go into the specifics on how to sew and, you know, I need a burp. So yeah, which would you guys rather have? Would you rather have a entire video just based on how to sew the suit entirely or would you rather have different parts of sewing the suit? But yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also make sure to donate to my Ko-Fi for future projects. And I will see you guys in the next video.